Ladies and gentlemen, this is internet personality Evangelist and Fans Project's Retro Future line hits number two with Fangro, the second Glacial Bot release. He's got the same style of packaging as Tail Club, conveying the time-lost 80s toy aesthetic in a wonderfully intentional way, with printed cardboard damage and a big ol' styrofoam tray. Fangro's saber-toothed tiger pal has a particular quality that feels especially retro, in that his body seems to sort of taper down the farther back you go. Makes him look a little funny from behind. It reminds me of the odd look of other legged limb bots like Ripper Snapper or Scalor. The gun barrel tail follows suit, looking a little anemic. The sculpt itself is slick-edged, not too sharp but not too soft. Surface detail abounds with a lot of vents and dashes. The tiger's head even has whisker-like line work above the delightfully sloped saber teeth. Swapping orange for yellow, the plastic colors are otherwise identical to the grays and burgundy of Tail Club. Metallic stickers pump up the visual punch, particularly from a top-down view. The saber-toothed tiger has a decent amount of posability for an 80s-style mecha toy, with swivels at the top of each leg, a nautable head, an opening mouth, and waggly teeth. Opening the mouth also reveals a little tongue cannon, so he can kiss you from afar. Fangro himself is a tiny guy on a card, like Tail Club's true identity. The first thing that struck me is that every piece other than perhaps his thighs bears new sculpt work. His color scheme is a tad more boring than Tail Club's, two-thirds yellow and one-third gray. His head sculpt is real eye candy, though, between the chiseled faceplate and really bright and tiny pink eyes. Those are like one strand of the paintbrush kind of paint apps. Like his predecessor, Fangro's got a simple four points of articulation, and also like his predecessor, he can enter a Beast Rider mode. The saber-toothed tiger actually has a sliding panel for this, which is more interesting than the straight-up hole in the top of Tail Club's Didicurus. With his mounting point pushed farther forward than Tail Club's, Fangro looks like he's legit gripping the scruff of his tiger's neck as he rides along. Yee-haw! Moving into Robotized Fusion! Fangro's Tiger ditches its tail and head before doing a very simple and highly G1 Transformers conversion. It's clean, but also a lot less interesting than the leg-flippy surprise of Tail Club's Didicurus. Fangro folds up and slots in to complete the Robotized Fusion process, and the Tiger's head does a decent little transformation to combine with the tail and form Fangro's Sonic Blaster. Fully roboticationally fused, Fangro's got the Scramble City Limbot look I talked about previously in my Tail Club review. It's a highly intentional aesthetic, and thanks to his slightly fuller arms, Fangro comes off looking a bit more balanced than his predecessor. Ignoring the big tiger leg things on his shins, anyway. I really wish those folded up a bit more. Between his plastic colors, paint colors, and sticker colors, Fangro is a visual treat of retro tech textured nonsense, and his Sonic Blaster is a really cool mush of a tiger themed firearm. I love how much the head unfolds to mesh together with the gun rather than simply hang off of it. And being a Sonic Blaster, I just got to imagine it shoots meows, like really loud, horrible meows. Unfortunately, Fangro's posability is confined to his shoulders, since his legs are a simple sliding piece. I really was hoping for something as interesting as Tail Club's setup. There's a lot more retro than future in this case. Oh, and by the way, now that I have two of these guys, I can show you that the core robots are able to robotize their way back and forth between host bodies. This is a cool angle on the gimmick, hearkening to classic headmasters and power masters alike. After a light transformation from robot mode with a reapplication of tiger head, Fangro enters his arm mode. Well, the handless arm mode anyway. Glacial bot leader Tusker comes with the hands, so for now, I have an ambulant saber-toothed stick. And sadly, since he has a sliding mono leg, Fangro doesn't achieve the friggin' amazing elbow joint the tail club can pull off. Oh, but hey, 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 check it out! BAM! Now he's a leg. Since these guys are Scramble City-like, they appear to be able to function as either type of limb. By now, many of you have probably decided whether or not Retro Future's semi-artistic intent of delivering toys made to look like they fell through a time warp in the late 80s is for you. Fangro is almost more aggressively retro than Tail Club between his odd tiger proportions and straight-up mono leg. But just like Tail Club, he wins me over in part due to the artistic intent of the series and in part due to the modern materials used in tandem with that intent. It also helps that I'm really in love with the tiger's head sculpt. Perhaps a glacial bot will come that can change the minds of those still on the fence or outright shaking their fists at fans project over Retro Future, but Fangro certainly won't be the one to do it. For those already on board, you'll definitely dig some of what this guy does, and having a saber-toothed tiger alongside a Didicurus is really selling me on the Ice Age alt-mode theme of the team. 
Anyway, this has been Internet Personality Vangelis, and with three glacial bots to go, one is left to wonder... Who's next? <laughs>